Welcome to our third video. Mm -hmm. Third video. Number three. Number three. Uh, here at the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Studios. <laughs> it's very official. It is very official. It's so official that we are coming to you in kind of costumes. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> um, so, first and foremost, happy Halloween. Thank you so much for subscribing and joining us. Today is obviously our Halloween party. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Do you have any Halloween plans this year? Probably trick-or-treating with the nieces. That'll be fun. Most likely. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. They're I good like... shares of candy, too. Oh, what's your favorite candy? I don't actually know this about you. Where's my pen? <laughs> Probably Reese's Pieces. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just learned something new about mm -hmm. Ashley. That's delicious. I like those, um, you know when you can get, like, the the Hershey's pack and they're, like, the tiny mini ones? For some reason, I really like the those Mr. Good. good bars that come in those. Those are good. I mean, I love a full-size Mr. Good bar, but it seems like they're extra good when they're tiny. Mm -hmm. They're cute. Good. Good bars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we today are going to be talking to you about Halloween, and we had three really great questions come in on Instagram. We'll be answering those today. We are going to do a show and tell of a knitting work in progress. Yes. I thought I would do a show and tell of a sewing work in progress and share with you, again, what we're wearing, what we're making, these great cat ears that we got from a machine box two years ago. I think it has been. Oh, yeah, so two. cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. So we decided to wear our ears for you in honor of our favorite webcomic and internet cat. She's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's, She's so very cute. cute. So uh, tell me about your dress today. It's a little bit hard. I know we have we have a lot of <laughs> a lot of Halloween -y a things. lot of Halloweeny things today. But um, Ashley is wearing a another hinterland. <laughs> it's a theme I have. Um, but this one is ice cream and it's uh, Dear Stella fabric. I'm not going to try to move it. <laughs> I'm afraid it's all going to tumble. Yes. <laughs> we could take a picture, maybe. Yeah, we could share a picture. Okay. So, go ahead. Sorry. It's Dear Stella Fabric. And the fabric is called Life's a Beach Ice Cream Regatta. I had to double check that. That's a mouthful. But it's super cute fabric. It is really cute. And you wore this on your birthday. I did. That's right. It was your birthday dress. It was my birthday dress. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Um, today I am wearing another big Jesse from a German designer. I will link to that below. Um, I, I don't know if you can kind of see, again, we're kind of like, we have a lot of samples mm -hmm. and also, I mean, it's, it's kind of like the show isn't really about us. The show's about cross stitching and yeah. stuff. But so this is big Jesse. Um, this one I made from a couple different Halloween fabrics from a Facebook group that I found. The group always changes names, so I'm not sure of it at the moment. And also, this fabric isn't available. It was only available for a couple weeks last year or two years ago. Yeah. Um, I think it's called Euro Girls Knit or Pink Polka Dot Knits. <laughs> I'm not sure why the name changes. I know the name is a little bit different than the actual like Facebook page. This one is a little bit of a thinner cotton jersey than the one that I wore in a previous episode from like European knit fabric, which is a little bit thicker. Um, I do like this one quite a bit. This one I made the hood. Sorry, my hand won't let me have it. Yeah. I'm still like like one-handed, so I gotta have help. But the hood on this, it's so generous. That's nice. Yeah. It's huge. Like, yeah, it's it's going nowhere. It's a good one. Um did I lose an ear or am I okay? okay. Ears are intact. E ears are intact. Um, and so this is this is a really cute and comfy one. This is like a lighter weight one. I really like that a lot because it's still pretty warm here. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> yeah, toasty. <laughs> um, Ashley, what are you working on right now? I have... It's not much. But... It's okay. This is not like... I mean, we... Right? So Ashley and I, we work full time, so mm -hmm. <laughs> we might not have as fast of projects as you're hoping to watch progress. But eventually, I have a future shawl. This one is called Carl the Shawl by <laughs> Jen Peck. And the um, yarn that I use is by Gobble Wobble. Gobble Wobble! So cute. How cute is that name? And so far, I've only used Gobble Wobble in um, the colorway Afternoon Tea. But eventually, although I have a little cozy on it, so you can't... Oh my gosh, how cute. See? Wait, but it's almost... Is that, is that the cozy I got you? It's actually... 
This one. Oh my gosh. But they match colors. They totally do. But it's going to be, my second color for the shawl is this pink, and it's um, by Suburban Stitcher, and the colorway is Eraser. Eraser. And I can't wait to get to that part when I start using Eraser. That's awesome. So Carl is named after the San Francisco Fog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eric, um, Ashley and Eric... Eric is her husband. They like to go to San Francisco often and go to Giants games. Yep. So I foresee you finishing this and wearing it to a game. I hope so. I've got a little time, so that might work. You do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do. You yep. do. I love the names of those. Eraser. Eraser. It's the perfect name. It literally mm -hmm. is the most perfect name. Um, actually, I my work in progress is right next to you. <laughs> I should have grabbed it. I'm sorry. You don't have to grab all of it. You can just grab one piece. Yeah, you can just grab one. It's okay. Okay, so I am getting ready to mus muslin a top um, called Ashton by Helen's Closet. I love that fabric. <sighs> Here is a neck facing. Um, I am using a cotton and steel fabric. Uh, Nico and... Oh, boy. I don't know. I think they're... Oh, I don't think I have any salvage. I could tell Nico and Tori? Nico and Tori! Thank you! Good no job. Problem. Thank you. Yeah, she found it. So it's these little, uh, almost look like a java sparrow, small little birds. There's some metallics in there. Um, I'm making it as a muslin because I'm not quite sure how cropped it's going to be. So uh, I'm making view the cropped one, which I think is B. And I've been making a lot of cropped tops lately. Um, when I was recovering from surgery, I laid on the couch for, I don't know, a week, <laughs> two weeks. And I kind of fell in love with this aesthetic that I'm seeing on Instagram. It's kind of like, what would you call it? Like the maker aesthetic, mm -hmm. the art teacher aesthetic, mm -hmm. where it's like very like loose, billowy clothing, not very fitted styles. And like, I can tell you right now that I don't even like wearing this tight shirt. Um, yeah, it just, it doesn't feel good. So I want to be sewing that loose aesthetic and really start wearing that a lot. I started buying a lot more natural fibers. Um, these are, this is cotton with a tiny bit of spandex in it, which is, which is fine. But I want to move more towards linen. Um, so soft. Um, yeah. more actually quilting cotton because it's also very soft and breathable. I'm at kind of like, I guess, a stage in my life where I don't feel like I want to be wearing very fitted clothes. I want to wear loose oversized styles but I also want to make sure that they still are in proportion with my body shape and size. So I'm trying this one. I'm really excited about it. The little sparrows are super cute. I thought this would be great layered underneath. Um, I have a, two Blackwood cardigans. I'm thinking about making that Peppermint Magazine um, slouchy cardi. It's a really big oversized cardigan. And I have cut out a pair of uh, Nini culottes and a So Liber so liberated estuary skirt and i think that all of those higher waisted pants will look cute with a cropped top yes yes mm -hmm. and i recently speaking of crop tops made a uh jara sweater and jara is by uh megan nielsen and i i was <laughs> This is terrible. I was listening to an audiobook and I was absolutely enthralled by my audiobook. And instead of cutting the cropped version, I cut on the length and shorten line. Mm. So it's real cropped. I mean, it's like, <laughs> don't lift your up your arm, otherwise we're gonna see some underboob. <laughs> Can I say underboob on YouTube? Sure. All right. Well, we're gonna say it on YouTube. <laughs> And so it ended up being totally, to, it's cute because it's super cute now. It, it's cute. It has, um, ribbing. Um, actually this is the fabric I used. So this is, um, a European knit from Jumping June Textiles and it's this tiger fabric. So I'm trying to be really conscientious of whenever I sew something, I'm trying to, if my machine is still threaded in that color, sew my scraps. That's smart, yeah. Right away. Like, like I'll have a day where I will sew nothing but things in black because <laughs> I don't want to change my the cover stitch machine. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to just get it done. So I got this hot water bottle, and I love a hot water bottle in the winter. Obviously, I'm not using it right now. <laughs> um, but I thought it needed a tiger cozy, and it's so soft. And so my sweatshirt is in this material. And I'll wear that um, in an upcoming video. I've actually made the pattern twice now. 
and I could easily keep going. It's a good one. Like I could literally do an entire video just on this pattern because I think it's really versatile. There's been some other really great um, vloggers who have mentioned it. Um, Tom Cat Stitchery, she has some great tutorials and she did like an entire like lookbook of her wearing all the different views of the sweater and um, the sweater on her daughter. So it kind of gave me the inspiration like, okay, this is really good. And I love when a pattern has so many different views that you can like mix and match. Mm -hmm. So I made the cropped, the cropped version with um, ribbing as the hem, the cuffs, and the neck. And then I made the cowl neck version with the long split sleeves. That's right. I was trying to picture the other version. Yeah. yeah. Long split sleeves, which is totally, remember, this was like not my jam. Mm -hmm. And I yep. said, which one should I make? And you were like, you're not going to like that. And I was <laughs> like, you might be right, but it was something that I don't have in my wardrobe. I don't I have looks, a trendy. It looks cool. It's it cute. It cool. is surprisingly cute. And that one has like a high, low hem. And I made that out of a Blackbird um, Tencel bamboo French terry fabric that is like amazing. I was telling her after I finished it, I went on their website and I'm like, okay, how many other fabrics can I buy? Because mm -hmm. it's so soft. It feels really good against the skin. But I mean, I'm trying to be again, a little bit more conscientious in what I make because starting out as a quilter, like I bought so much fabric and I have made so many quilts and I love them all and I cherish them all. But there's just like, how many quilts do you need on yeah. your body at once? So I'm trying not to go down that same rabbit hole with sewing. I'm trying to be very conscientious that I'm filling a gap in my wardrobe, that I'm using my scraps as soon as possible to the best of my ability. I'm trying to cut smart and I'm trying to lean more towards natural fibers. It's a challenge, mm -hmm. but it's really satisfying. And like I said, there's like this whole aesthetic and this whole movement of people that are really trying to like pare down their wardrobes, like those capsule wardrobes. Yes. Yeah, those are I'm so... I'm not good at that, but I would love to be. <laughs> you would be good at that, though. You have so... Well, Ashley is really smart, and she wears a lot of dresses, so she's always comfortable. And there are days when I see her, and I'm stuffed into like... I mean, jeans, they fit, obviously, mm -hmm. And like a shirt like this, and I'm like, I want to be wearing something comfortable like you. Because you are you always look like your skin is breathing and everything looks happy, and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm done. So, on YouTube, you're going to start to see a completely different aesthetic from here on out. I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> the end of that. That was a long tirade that had nothing to do with Halloween. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, wait. I will say one thing. When I do make... Um, sweatshirts and stuff like this I'm saving the scraps because I've started sewing underwear mm -hmm. and that's a really good um, stash buster for jersey knits and those kind of things so you've seen my work in progress you've seen Ashley's work in progress progress let's get down to Halloween <laughs> the serious stuff okay Ashley yes we're gonna play question and answer okay <laughs> it's interview time at the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Studios <laughs> okay for Halloween Mm -hmm. What is your favorite pattern that you have ever designed? Oh, boy. I think it's probably this one, Halloween Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> but it's also because it was the very first lace border design that we did. Mm -hmm. And I got to stitch it. You did. Yeah. You did stitch mm -hmm. that one. I took, And it lives with me. It does. You don't even get to enjoy your hard work. <laughs> I visit it. <laughs> you do visit mm -hmm. it. Um, what year did that come out? 2013, I think. 2013. Maybe. Oh. Might be a little off. Holy cow. 2013. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. No, I think you're right. And that's the first time we ever used Picture This Plus fabric. Was it? It was. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. It was, yeah. A lot of first for us. It was a lot of first for us. And Weeks Dye Works. That's right, because the black is kind of charcoal y in certain mm -hmm. parts. I love that part. Yeah, that part is really beautiful. That is, guys, it's really fun to share like the evolution with you guys because a lot of the stuff I think, I don't want to say we take it for granted, but we like, yeah, it's like it's out of sight, out of mind, yeah. kind of. Like, yeah, it's crazy to think that that's where we were. So I like that one a lot too. Do you remember the inspiration behind it? Like, what made you want to do spelling out Halloween and then the lace border? I'm sorry, I keep clicking that pen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, YouTube. Sorry. I don't... I'm not sure what the... Why we decided on the lettering. I can't... I can't remember that, but 
I just like the look of the lace and trying to, well not sneak in, but add in little details and then build the lace around it was really fun to do. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's I think only the reason why. Yeah, you love that. Yeah. That is her jam. Like if she can add lace into a pattern... I will do it. <laughs> she will do it. And in fact, we had lace in the 2020 sampler and we actually... It's going to be saved for something else. It's going to be saved for something else because we're trying something a little bit different, which is, it's hard. Change mm -hmm. is hard, but it also feels good. Um, with the lace, you also have lace on Black Hat Society. That was fun. Yeah. That one was really fun. And if you, if you look at the details in the hat, you can see there is, oh boy, there's, I'll take it other, down. I hope I can yeah. get it back up there. Um, Little there's hats, moons, moons, cat, bats, cauldron. Yeah, there's a lot in there. And then even Frankie Frankenstein from Squad Ghouls, he has potions. No, Little beakers. Beaker, uh, lightning bolts, bolts at the bottom that were supposed to represent the little bolts in his neck. <laughs> I think that's all that's in his. Oh boy. That's precarious. <laughs> Cross your fingers so that doesn't fall on us later. No sudden <laughs> movements. This is a very... Um, professional setup here at the Frosted Puppy Stitcher Studio. It's our middle name. <laughs> it is. So, um, okay, if you could, well, okay, I don't, I don't want to race ahead here with, with the things. Mm -hmm. um, for my favorite pattern that you've designed, yeah. Halloween-wise, this is the hardest thing ever, but I'm going to, I might change your mind. I might actually blow your mind. Okay. I'm going to pick Trick or Treat Costume Club. I did like that one too, actually. That one yeah. is so cute because I love the fabric that we picked. Yes. If you buy the pattern, you get the, the pattern, which is this one right here. And then you also get, is the fob on the, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. Wait, nope. do I have it right here? Nope. Nope. That's so cute. Well, shoot. Okay. You also get um, a bonus scissor fob pattern. And that's something that we like to do because it helps you maximize your stitching space on a single piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. And since it's a long skinny piece, we wanted you to be able to put other things on your fabric as well. And I like this one because the little girl who's in the pumpkin costume, she's so cute. And I was telling Ashley, I said, you know, should we like talk about like Halloween memories or something? Mm -hmm. And one of my <laughs> Halloween memories is I was very small growing up in Massachusetts and it was freezing cold on Halloween. And I was going to be like a little fairy and I had these wings and this whole costume. And my mom put me in my winter coat. So no one could tell what I was. No. Yeah, heartbreaking, right? Like, I mean, like, she strapped the wings around the coat. But it was like, this little person, like, oh, it was horrible. But if I think about it, I can actually smell what, like, the face glitter smelled like that she, like, put oh, on really? my face. It's a very strong memory. I think I was, like, <laughs> so mad at her. Like, mom. And all of my, like, little neighbor friends... They didn't have to wear their winter coats. Like, why did I have to wear mine? My poor mom. Sorry, mom. If you're watching this, but seriously, that coat. So when I see her in her little, like, giant-sized um, pumpkin costume, I think, is she wearing a winter coat under that? It's baby Amanda. It is this baby Aww. Amanda. The thing was, I think I was probably, like, five or six. I mean, I should not have been this upset about it, but... It stuck with it you, though. Stuck, it has stuck with me for 37 years. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. So I think that that's one of my favorite ones because I love the colors. I'm really, really keen on that one. But I stitched Mysterious Halloween Town. Yep. I stitched Mysterious Halloween Town, and I think that was one of my. I think that was one of my last cross stitch projects. It might have been. Yeah. Dang. I have problems with an arm, and I had to completely s stop um, cross stitching, stop knitting, all kinds of things. And I think that that was literally my, one of my last projects. But I love that one. And that one is a lot of fun because it has that pink in it. Yeah. The bubble gum. Mm -hmm. And the lavender potpourri. So it has these hand-dyed threads that aren't really what you would consider like traditional Halloween colors. Mm -hmm. Pink, lavender. I, yeah, I love that. Okay, so my next question. This is, not, this is not Halloween related, but we got asked this on Instagram and I thought it was such a good question. Do we have any works in progress of our own patterns or we felt like we've had to stitch them? I don't think I have any work in progress projects because they've been turned into patterns. So they're done. Right. But the one that I probably would still want to stitch 
it's already done, made into a pattern, all that is Sweetest Pie. Yes. I love that one so much. Sweetest Pie is a charming pattern. I love that one. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites too. That is a sweet one. And instead of doing a lace border, Ashley did a pie crust border. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. It's a fun one. <laughs> um, if I could stitch any of our patterns, mm -hmm. I would do Year of the Boar. Yeah. I love that boar. Um, as I mentioned in our fall, our, yeah, our fall party last week, I really love um, boars. And like, this is my planner, my Hobonichi Weeks. And when Ashley, I said, can we please do a year of the boar pattern? And she was like, of course, anything for you. That's how the conversation totally went. <laughs> and I think you said you might have to quit if we didn't have a boar pattern. <laughs> there was no peer pressure. There was no <laughs> bullying. Um, there might have been a little bit. <laughs> um, but we, we made year of the boar. And then the response from you guys was so overwhelming. Everyone was like, I want all the animals. And... Can I mention it or no? You can. I can. There is a Chinese New Year or Ch a Chinese Zodiac pattern that is done. It's not ready to be released yet. The chart is done. When it's ready, I'll let you know. But that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I have to like look for you for, <laughs> for approval. Like, do I have to edit this out later? <laughs> so the response from you guys was super overwhelming. You guys loved Year of the Boar. I love Year of the Boar. I, I really wanted to just take the boar and put him like maybe stitch him on perforated paper and make him into a bag charm that would be really cute or something like yeah. ashley and i both have like a lot of like char like soft plush charms on our purses and i really wanted a cross stitch one of him so bad because he's got that little top hat on mm -hmm. and the bow tie it's yeah fancy. he's pure so that was a really great great question that we got on instagram um another great question that we got on instagram and i don't even know how i can answer this is what was your all-time favorite stitch along? I know we briefly talked about this in our fall episode last week, but you have to answer it today. <laughs> what is your all-time favorite stitch along? Oh boy. Um probably once upon a time. Yeah, cuz that was another one I got to stitch. You did stitch that one. Yes. And maybe that helps me decide on them apparently, but um yeah, I love the stories and and being able to stitch it and use the hand dyed floss, and um, yeah, that one was that one was fun. It didn't, it was so much fun. It didn't feel as big as it was because it was a it was a good time to stitch. That is a big chart. It's stitched on a fat quarter of fabric. It is a it's a chonker. Mm -hmm. It's a big guy. Yeah. But that one is a lot of fun because it has a lot of details in it. But it's so funny because I always think that one has a lot of details in it. But when I look at something like Pumpkinville now. Yeah, it's nothing like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so much more details. Like we come up with, you know, like a certain size that we want a pattern to finish at. And at first there was like, a, there was like negative space in some of our patterns. Mm -hmm. Now. Nope. It's nope. gone. <laughs> nope. Now we're going to try to cram in as much uh -huh. stuff as possible because it feels good. And I, I love the fullness mm -hmm. of the designs. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, I, you surprised me with that one. For some reason, I thought you were going to say story time. I like that one too. And I got to stitch that one too. <laughs> and there's lace in it. So I did like that one. I just, I don't know. I just, I think I liked this. If I had to pick between the two types of stories, the once upon a time fairy tales, I like those best. Okay. Would you do another story themed sampler? So we've done three. We've done Once Upon a Time, Story Time Sampler, and Happily Ever After. If you wanted to, would you do like a fourth bookish themed one? Maybe. Maybe. I like ending on odd numbers though. So we so have, we have to, to do five. five. Oh yeah. boy. And we also won't touch anything that is... Um, copyright yeah. like uh we're not going to do harry potter we're not going to do anything like that ever there are lots of designers out there that feel comfortable doing that we don't do anything really super pop culture so that's my disclaimer on that but it would be fun to do another book themed one mm -hmm. but two more book themed ones that's a lot yeah. we'd have to come up with 24 more stories i mean realistically like that it's not that hard because we could probably do it. we could probably do it but we're not going to commit to anything right now <laughs> obviously um if I had to pick my all-time favorite stitch along, Pumpkinville. Really? Well, it's a toss-up between mm -hmm. Pumpkinville, Woodland Sampler, 
Oh, I yeah. stitched Woodland Sampler. You did. I yep. did. And that was, that's really, it's a, it's a sweet, sweet, sweet one. People love that one still. Mm -hmm. And I think, can I do a spoiler? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think if you liked Stitching Into the Jungle and Woodland Sampler, you might like the 2020 mm -hmm. block. I was of, just thinking. About yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's it. That's it. My throat is getting dry. I'm sorry. I keep kind of like, <laughs> it's very hot here again today. So we're kind of like <laughs> melting. Um, but with Pumpkinville, thank you. you like Actually, you I still have a open. bubbly. Thank you. Oh, so would you like to know about a side project we're thinking about starting? In addition to our Time Turner Kickstarter, where we give you all unlimited time, we're thinking about starting a line of carbonated water called Bubbly Broads. <laughs> Because we drink a lot of carbonated uh -huh. water and, uh, or we would do like a review blog in which we would tell you the flavors that are good and the mm -hmm. flavors to skip. Because it seems like everybody has a carbonated water now. Oh yeah. There's so many now. Yeah. Like that new Target one? Yeah. What was that one? I don't, har I don't know, but the pineapple cute. coconut one was good. Oh. Yeah. So there, there you go. There's our first mm -hmm. review. But, um, that's kind of been a joke for us and we are going to do something hopefully in the future beverage related and it would be fun to do a can of sparkling water mm -hmm. made up a yeah. made up flavor flavor that we could come up with anyways sorry to go <laughs> off track again this halloween party is just going off the rails it's really just like a regular party with me in which i just don't <laughs> and we just have ears on <laughs> we just have ears on and we're just going all over mm -hmm. the place why did business meeting takes five hours with the frosted focus injury well <laughs> They had to tell us all about these other things. We've got a lot of things to, We've got a to lot of talk things about. To talk about. So Pumpkinville is, I have been wanting to do that for so long. Mm -hmm. So long. And part of me is glad that we held off this long because it's been fun to see your designs like evolve. They have definitely changed over time. Yeah. And actually this was, this was something that somebody recently said like, Oh, I can always tell that, that they're your patterns because they all kind of like look similar. Oh. And I was like, yeah, because they're all designed by the same That's person. Good. And we have a very cohesive thing. Like I remember when I was using Instagram, I had somebody leave a comment and they were like, I can always tell things that you sew because you always sew with like the same things. Mm -hmm. And at first I was kind of like, are my feelings hurt? I can't decide. But now I look back and I'm like, no, I just had a cohesive style. Yeah. And we've always had a, I like that. a cohesive mm -hmm. style. Cause then you can tell it's us. Like, mm -hmm. like for example, like Satsuma street, I can pick a Satsuma street out mm -hmm. so fast. I and and I love her stuff. And that's like, it's really cool when you see a designer and you instantly know them. And, and I like that a lot. Me too. So I'm glad that we got to do Pumpkinville now at this stage in your designing, because those blocks have so many good details. Like, they are jam packed, like the garden shop with its um, who's coming over the trellis, the plant wisteria, wisteria. Mm -hmm. um, and all the bees. I don't want to do a spoiler of an upcoming month. Um, the coffee shop mm -hmm. with the that little coffee logo, and that one has a cat. It does. And somebody on Instagram said, "Thank you for including a cat," and we were like, "Yeah, cat, mm -hmm. cat." <laughs> And it's like your neighbor cat, Marmalade. It, marmalade. I have a neighbor cat, the cat that lives across the street, and he's got a little bell on, and we hear him running, and we'll go, hi, Marmalade, and he'll just come running, and yeah, he's my buddy. And we used to have a cat that lived up the street called Gutter Cat, <laughs> and she slept in the gutter. Our street, this part of the street, isn't very busy, and she would just lay there, and she was some kind of like a, I think a rag doll. She was really fluffy and she kind of looked very linty and dusty because she laid in the gutter. Yeah. We didn't know her name, so we just called her Gutter Cat. But she was real sweet. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen her in a while, though. I hope she's doing all right. I hope so, too. <laughs> we, we're going to end that conversation <laughs> right there. Um, and so I'm I'm going to go with Pumpkinville. Okay. For sure. Oh, that's a hard one. So I would like to know from you guys, which year-long sampler has been your favorite? I'm curious to see mm -hmm. what you guys say. Me too. I'm super curious. Um, and we can include Sweetest Pie in there because it was a 12 months. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we started it in a March, um, in a March. We started it in March. <laughs> but it, it went for a full 12 months. And that one was really, it was a year-long club. Yeah. Just not the official year-long yeah. club. Yes. So for our um, Halloween party today, we've already talked about our very favorite Halloween pattern. I'm curious about what your favorite Halloween pattern is too. 
Ashley, if you had to pick, let's do a throwdown. <laughs> okay. Throwdown. Okay. Seasonal sampler. Which better or Ooh. ghouls just want to have fun? Oh, man. <laughs> um, which better? Because I like how sassy it is. It is so sassy. I thought, I was a little bit unsure if you guys were going to like that one. It turns out you guys really mm -hmm. like that one a lot. But I was like, are they going to think it's a little too much? Mm -hmm. We like to joke. I'm going to let you guys in on a private joke. We have <laughs> pumpkins after dark. Oh, gosh. <laughs> after, <laughs> after we design something, it goes through pumpkins after dark, like, <laughs> proofing to make sure that there is nothing kind of, like, scandalous, scandalous, sexual, creepy, giving off weird vibes, <laughs> anything like that in a pattern. And... I was joking that which better could it be a pumpkin after dark pattern because it's, you know, a, a play on words um, and it passed the test, thankfully. Mm -hmm. But I figure we can tell them about that. So we kind of have like an ongoing joke about, ooh, pumpkins after dark. <laughs> yeah, there's been a couple that haven't made the cut. No. <laughs> okay. We, this is apparently the very um, embarrassing and awkward Halloween party. Mm -hmm. It's like we've had a few cocktails. But we haven't. No. 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 None at all. <laughs> We're just this socially awkward. <laughs> so, okay, if I had to pick one. No. Oh, do you want me to pick two? And then you pick between the two? Okay, okay, sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do Black Hat Society. Uh huh. And I'm going to do uh, Sleepy Hollow. Oh. <laughs> That's hard. Mm hmm. I feel like I'm on like what's the ding ding uh -huh. ding ding. ding. I was gonna say. Je is it Jeopardy? Mm -hmm. Jeopardy. The countdown. the countdown is on. Oh, I'm gonna go with with this one, Black Hat Society. Black Hat? Yes, and here's why. I mm -hmm. like the lace. Mm -hmm. I like the colors. <clears throat> I like the little trio, which is I like that it has a cat. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cute. However, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do like this one because it it's kind of like our play on like a. Um, a sampler, like an antique sampler, and he's missing his, he's got that head. Mm -hmm. The pumpkin head. Mm -hmm. Why did you have to pick those two? <laughs> I'm gonna go with, with Black Hat Society begrudgingly. And a close second. And a close second. Well, there's only two! Mm -hmm. I mean, that was rotten of you. Alright, I'm gonna do it to you now. Squad Ghouls versus... <laughs> oh, gosh. Squad Ghouls. So Squad Ghouls is... I have a squad member right here. Squad Ghouls is, if you watched our first video and we went on the grand cookie tour of the Frosted Pumpkin Citrus <laughs> Kitchens, um, you will know that this is like a sugar cookie themed pattern. Squad Ghouls versus Batty Bakery. Batty Bakery was designed for Just Cross Stitch Magazine. You can also find it on our website. Which one are you going to pick? <laughs> I'm going to say... Squad ghouls. I like how chunky. That's a, a common theme of mine. <laughs> I love chunky little things. I love Frank or Frankie and um, Zoe. Yes. I think they're so cute. They are super cute. Okay. And it incorporates lace too. It does incorporate lace. Back to lace. Back to lace. It always comes back to lace and Halloween in mm -hmm. our lives. Yep. Yeah. Also, I want to apologize. Um, I know that there are trucks driving back and forth and I know that you guys are being able to hear them. It's harvest season. We can't really do much about it. I uh, will try to edit the video as best as I can, but if one of us is talking, it's really hard to edit out that background mm -hmm. ambient sound. So I apologize, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. This Halloween party has got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so those two, yeah, I can see. Okay. I'll agree. <laughs> will you? I will. I would pick Batty Bakery. I know you would. Because it's like Pumpkinville. <laughs> it is like Pumpkinville. Oh, I hate it when she calls me on stuff. I'm on to you. It's almost like you know me. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so do you have any other questions or things that you'd like to chat about today during our spooktacular Halloween party? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Okay. Not Halloween related, I don't think. Nope. Oh, uh, this week... This week, we are releasing Clue 2 of Nutcracker Parade. What did you guys think of Clue 1 and the little 
uh, ballerina. Sugar Plum Fairy. Sugar Plum Fairy. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think of her? I hope you guys enjoyed stitching her up because she is so cute. Yeah. With so her cute. Candy. Yep. Order. The little candy arch around her. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine like actually seeing that float in real life? Amazing. It would be so good. So I think when this video goes live, it's either going to be right before Clue 2 is released. Mm -hmm. Maybe? I'll have to see how long it takes to upload. But Clue 2 could be out or it could be just getting ready to go out. And if you're curious about what it looks like, you can visit our website, thefrostedpumpkinstitchery.com, and check it out. I think that's everything for today. Mm -hmm. Thank you for hanging out with us for Halloween. Uh, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to our channel and sharing it with all your friends. Thank you for listening to me ramble <laughs> like crazy today. It's, it's just one of those days. It we is. It is. had a lot to say. I did have a lot to say. I'm not sure what our next episode is going to be. Um, we'll have to do some brainstorming. We will have to do some brainstorming. If you guys have anything that you'd like to hear us talk about, definitely drop us a note. Um, my package that I mentioned from our previous week's video from Amazon Japan with my 2020 sampler came. Mm -hmm. Oh, not sampler. Sorry. I See what I'm doing? <laughs> I have 2020 sampler on the brain. Uh -huh. Can you tell us what we've been finishing up? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh huh. Um, I got my planner in the mail. I'd be happy to talk about that. Um, maybe some Hobonichi talk, mm -hmm. and maybe some some t some sewing talk. Yeah. And maybe more shawls. Yeah, I've I've got more to show. You do have a lot more to mm -hmm. show. So I think that's what we have potentially coming up. But if you specifically want to hear us chat about something, definitely let us know. And we will provide links to all the things possible in this video. Those trucks are killing me today. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you again for liking and subscribing. I'm going to end this video now. I hope you guys have a very safe and very happy Halloween. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>